Understanding the phrase, in the dark clouds, an English language guide. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's English learning video. We're going to explore the phrase, in the dark clouds. This is a fascinating phrase that can add depth to your English conversations. So, let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it effectively. In the dark clouds, literally refers to the physical location within or surrounded by clouds that are dark, usually in the sky. Dark clouds are often associated with storms or bad weather. This literal usage is common in descriptions of the weather or setting in stories and everyday conversation. For example, the plane flew in the dark clouds, making the journey quite turbulent. Beyond its literal meaning, in the dark clouds, is often used metaphorically. In this sense, it describes a situation that is troublesome or depressing. It's similar to saying someone is going through a dark or difficult time. For instance, after losing his job, John has been in the dark clouds, trying to find his way. Now, let's see how to use, in the dark clouds, in sentences. 1. Describing weather. As we hiked, we noticed we were walking in the dark clouds, a sign of an approaching storm. 2. Metaphorical use. Ever since the company started losing money, the employees have been in the dark clouds about its future. When using, in the dark clouds, it's important to avoid these common mistakes. 1. Don't confuse with, on cloud 9. While, in the dark clouds typically has a negative connotation, on cloud 9, means being extremely happy or euphoric. 2. Context matters. Ensure that the context of your conversation or writing supports the use of this phrase, be it literal or metaphorical. I hope this video helps you understand and use, in the dark clouds, effectively in your English conversations. Remember, learning idiomatic expressions like this can really enrich your language skills. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next English learning adventure.